one of the most important topics as of late is employment of the future. Whether you're a parent, whether you're a person that has a full-time job, whether you're a freelancer, or whether you're an entrepreneur. Uh, the question is, what does the future of employment look like? If you look at statistics right now, many jobs, specifically transportation jobs, will be eliminated through uh, self-driving cars. So you're gonna have anywhere between 500,000 to plus a million jobs eliminated. In fact, that's the most common job in North America is transportation. You already have it in Europe. They have self-driving Volvo fleets. Uh, Uber earlier this year bought 20,000 uh, Volvos to retrofit uh, to make that into self-driving. And so you have these industries that are getting disrupted by technology. Uh, in this example, we have self-driving cars. Uh, we have AI technology. In fact, there's a company that's copywriting uh, for Amazon and eBay. Um, the copywriting is 100 times better than any human copywriting. And so what's the need for a human when you have this AI deep learning algorithm that can put way better copy per second in real time, it can do multiple testing. Not just one or two tests, I'm talking about like thousands of micro tests per second to see which copy on this page works the best. And so then the big, you know, the big elephant in the room is like, okay, what the fuck do we do when almost every single job in the next 10 to 15 years is replaced by automation? Now you're gonna have Negative people saying, oh my God, we need universal basic income. Everything's going to go to hell. There's not going to be any jobs left. You know, how are we going to support ourselves? But then you got people, which I kind of lead towards on this side is like, listen, for every door, new doors open. You think when Henry Ford created the Model T, they can predict what's happened today? Do you even think five years ago, uh, you can predict what's going to happen today? And so it's very difficult to predict the future. What I do know, what I do know is, as technology evolves and becomes better, more opportunity arises. For God's sakes, I would say 80% of Silicon Valley businesses could not exist in the last, say, 20 years or 20 years ago. You know, So technology opens up new probabilities and possibilities for us to explore into. And which leads me to the main point of this video. It's not talking about which jobs will be gone and how we will find new jobs, it's more or less talking about the human nature of an individual. You see, because today for more or less, since the Industrial Revolution, we have been mm, nurtured and, and, and controlled like cattle to behave a certain way. If you look at our educational system, our educational system more or less is based off the Victorian school model. And what is the Victorian school model? It's to create a system that educates people enough so they're a little bit self-sufficient, but not enough to question others and to create them in such a way that they're perfect fit into this big machinery and they're the cog, right? Um, industrial work, right? Going to the nine to five, checking in, checking out. In fact, I can say today that our educational system, when people say we need to fix it, I'm opposed to that. We need to demolish it abolish it. Our educational system does not serve us any good anymore. I would say for the most part, it never served us any good in the beginning. You know, slaving away the job that you hate. What do you actually gain within the four years of education you go if you go to post-secondary eight years of education? And so going into the future, if you want to stay relevant, if you want to stay competitive, if you want to get the most out of life and really fucking kick ass, you need to have the skill of meta learning. You know, myself, when people look at me, they think, oh, I must have gone to some kind of special school because I'm so successful. Bullshit, I didn't fucking graduate high school. I got kicked out of high school. I was a troublemaker. I hated school, right? So if a high school dropout has been kicked out, numerous trouble with the law when I was younger, crazy fucking stories. If I can be self-taught and learn myself, anyone can learn. And that's a superpower to have is meta-learning. Having the ability to adapt quick and learning a specific task for a specific goal. And when you really look at it, like if you go to like university or college right now, and for example, you know, my background's marketing. And I interview some people for marketing, they go to certain universities, one second, and they come out of it and I'm, I'm talking to them about basic stuff. They have no idea what I'm speaking about. I'm like, what are they teaching you in those four years? Like the best way you can apply anything is doing it. And I'm a firm believer in the apprenticeship model. And people think, 
apprenticeship is only for trades. You can apply apprenticeships for anything. In fact, that's how people learned before the Industrial Revolution and before this Victorian school model. People learn from mentors, people learn from their local tribes, and people learn by doing, right? And so the future will be all about performance economy and the gig economy. And if you have the skill of meta-learning, and if you're willing to spend some time to dive in deep for a certain task, you have endless opportunities, endless, endless opportunities. And the whole slaving away nine to five at a dreaded job that you hate, well, one, truth be told, majority of these nine to five uh, union jobs, nine to five full benefit jobs will disappear. More and more companies due to overhead, legislation, regulation, and the fact that it's way more efficient to find better talent all around the world than locally is doing contract work, right? You can find a developer in Russia for contract work that's literally twice, if not three times better in output than a local developer and pay them maybe two thirds of what you would pay them locally. And so going back to my thought of meta learning, truly, it really doesn't matter if we're talking about 2018 or 2060. This is the constant. If you have the willingness to learn a new skill quick, fast, and take bold risks and really go into it, you don't have anything to worry about it. One thing is for sure with human beings, we are survivors. That's one thing. That is a constant element that throughout history of humankind, we are survivors. Regardless of if we're talking about technology, regardless if we're talking about war, regardless if we're talking about any circumstances, human beings are survivors. And so basically what I'm telling to you guys is, listen, stop pointing fingers. And there's actually a Greek saying for this, for every finger that you point, there's three pointing back at you. Stop pointing fingers. Stop saying technology is bad. Stop saying the future is looking grim. Instead, look inside and ask yourself, how can I make myself curious enough to learn everything? How do I make myself the most adaptable? How do I have fun in life? And how do I engage people and step outside my box? And I'll leave you at that, guys. Peace.